Hi, this is Jonathan King from K2. In this video, we are going to see how K2, in combination with Knowledge Lake, can deliver process-driven content solutions on the SharePoint platform. The video will focus on an accounts payable scenario and how it can be implemented using this combined solution set. Some of the challenges that exist in delivering accounts payable solutions today include simple invoice capture and data extraction, particularly from hard copy documents, easily creating, managing accounts payable processes regardless of complexity and ensuring they align with your business practices, making it easy for financial team members to process invoices using simple web-based tooling, ideally in an environment they already are familiar with, something like SharePoint, out-of-the-box integration with ERP and accounting solutions, be it on the Microsoft platform or not, perhaps in something like SAP, and providing rich reporting and process analytics to truly understand how a business is functioning. K2 and Knowledge Lake are both leaders in their respective fields. When combined, they deliver the perfect platform for process-driven content solutions and drive significant return on your SharePoint investment. K2 adds industry-leading process management capabilities to Knowledge Lake's best-of-breed capture and imaging offerings. Together, K2 and Knowledge Lake deliver a more competitive ECM solution offering on SharePoint when compared to traditional siloed and expensive ECM vendors. And together, K2 and Knowledge Lake both have a significant customer base globally. Now let's have a look at an accounts payable solution built using K2, Knowledge Lake and SharePoint and how it addresses some of the challenges we saw earlier and how the solution set as a whole could be leveraged to deliver other process driven content solutions on the SharePoint platform. Let's start the accounts payable demonstration by coming into Knowledge Lake Capture, scanning our invoice that you can see here and once it's scanned we're going to capture certain inf information through the index function. The information we're going to capture are things like the order number, the description, the total value of the invoice, etc. Let's start by capturing our order number and mapping this to our PO. In doing so, Knowledge Lake Capture will see that we have a corresponding PO within our system and conduct a lookup and automatically populate the total amount value. With Knowledge Lake Capture doing the lookup, we can easily see that the amount retrieved from our internal system matches the amount on the invoice. With that in place, we can continue to index other information that exists on the invoice. So we'll capture things like invoice number, invoice dates, quantity of items currently being invoiced, and the description of those products. Once we've captured all the necessary information off our invoice, we can accept this document, which will release the document into SharePoint and start our K2 process, our accounts payable process, that will manage the internal review and ultimate acceptance of this document. So let's do that now. The K2 accounts payable process does an internal lookup on our systems and determines that Bob is the PO owner and assigns him an initial review task. Bob can come into SharePoint and see all of the tasks that have been assigned to him across all of the K2 processes via his K2 work list. He can get further information about the task or conduct further actions directly from the work list. He can do things such as delegate the task to a colleague or redirect this task, i.e. assign it to someone else within his team using the redirect function. He can even see the view flow to be able to track the process's progress in real time. We'll leave the view flow open and check back on the progress of the process as we go through this demonstration. At this point in time, Bob would like to review this particular invoice and make a decision as defined by the process. He can click on the task, which will open up the Knowledge Lake viewer. This viewer will give him access not only to the scanned document, but all of the information that surrounds this particular process as determined by K2. This will be a combination of business information retrieved from various line of business systems, as well as the available actions or decisions that Bob can make at this point in the process. The Knowledge Lake Viewer, in combination with K2, provides Bob with a single user experience to see the scanned document and all of the business information. This provides him with an extremely effective and efficient user experience 
It ensures that he can make the right decision the first time without having to jump between different line of business systems. Bob is the first of a number of people who will participate in the K2 accounts payable process. It is important when involving a number of people as part of a process to be able to provide context as to the decisions that people made. This can be done in the Knowledge Lake Viewer by using the annotation feature to highlight key areas of a document that subsequent reviewers may wish to focus on or to highlight potential errors. Alternatively, Bob may wish to add some sort of narrative to his decision by adding a comment in the comments field here. After reviewing the scanned invoice and the associated business information, Bob isn't 100% sure that this invoice matches the PO. He's going to add a comment indicating as such and then is going to select one of the decisions in the process to then route this back to the originator to conduct a further review. You can see here that once the task has been accepted, a prompt will indicate as such. If we return to Bob's work list, you can see that the task has disappeared as it is now being completed. If we move to our view flow, the real-time representation of our accounts payable process, we can see that the unknown PO line has been followed based upon Bob's decision. A task has now been assigned to our originator to match the PO. So let's conduct that task now. The person who scanned the original invoice and started the K2 process, known as the originator in K2 terminology, has now received a task in their K2 work list. When they open that task, they'll be taken into the Knowledge Lake Viewer. What we see here is the flexibility of the Knowledge Lake Viewer when combined with K2. The originator, who is conducting a PO match, has a slightly different user experience than Bob, who is conducting the initial review. The user experience has adapted itself to conduct an automated search of all POs that exist in our ERP or accounting system. Through K2 Smart Objects, this could exist on the Microsoft platform or a variety of other different systems, including SAP. The automated search has gone and retrieved all POs that match the selected vendor. We can conduct a variety of other searches if necessary as well. The originator can select the PO that matches this particular invoice and then select the action that corresponds with the decision in the process. In this case, to match the PO, which will route this task back to Bob and confirm that this is indeed the invoice for the selected PO. As the originator has indeed confirmed that the scanned invoice does indeed match a PO within our system, we can see that the task has been routed back to our PO owner for approval. Again, this is Bob. As Bob's already reviewed this particular invoice once, he's quite comfortable that he can review it fairly quickly, this time without opening the Knowledge Lake Viewer. Using K2 Smart Actions, Bob, through his email, can open up the task email that's been assigned to him, see the available list of decisions that he can perform, in this case, he's going to choose to approve it and simply reply with approve to action this particular task. Having actioned the task via K2 Smart Actions, Bob can return to Outlook and see that a notification has been sent to him to confirm that he successfully approved the PO owner task. With the PO owner finally happy that the scanned invoice that we received matches a PO in our system, and having approved it, our accounts payable process moves on to cost code approval. We can see that here through our K2 view flow. We can also check within the view flow as to who's received that task by coming to our participants and seeing that it is actually Cody who's received that task. Additionally, if we want to track and monitor how this process has actually been progressing in terms of time it's taken at each stage in the process, we can come to our charts and see how long it's taken each person or each step in the process to execute. At the moment, we can see that PO owner has taken by far the most amount of time in conducting that review. Cody, having been assigned a task to perform the cost code approval stage of our accounts payable K2 process, opening up SharePoint to see her new task sitting within her K2 work list. As before, Cody can perform a number of actions from this particular work list. Additionally, Cody can see all other tasks that have been assigned to her across all of the K2 processes she participates in. Cody, opening up the task, comes into the Knowledge Lake Viewer and again is presented with all of the context information she needs to make the correct decision. Cody has a context sensitive user experience. The Knowledge Lake Viewer has transformed itself based upon the stage we're at within the K2 process. 
we have the scanned document that started this process to begin with. And on the right hand pane, the information that is presented to Cody is different than previous stages in the process. We can see all of the business information, we can see the line items that have been captured, we can also see the comments that were added by previous reviewers, and we can see any discrepancy information that may have arisen in previous stages of the process. Happy that the invoice doesn't exceed the allotted value of the cost code, Cody is happy to approve this particular request. In our example today, William is the person who will be conducting our executive approval. Just as before, William can open up the friendly and comfortable user experience that is SharePoint, can see the task that's been assigned to him, and can open it and take action. Alternatively, if William happens to be out of the office, he can use the K2 iPhone or BlackBerry applications to see this same work list and action tasks while on the go. Knowing the fantastic team that William has working for him, he is quite comfortable to action this task without necessarily opening and reviewing the document itself and the related business information. He can do this directly from the K2 work list by selecting on the context menu, drilling down to actions and selecting the action he wishes to choose. This will obviously then action the task and the process will respond accordingly. Having actioned the task, you'll see that the task immediately disappears from William's work list. The process now will complete the necessary actions. It will go and update the necessary information within our various accounting or ERP systems using integration elements through K2 Smart Objects or the variety of wizards that K2 provides out of the box with its design experience. It will then take the scanned invoice, declare it as a record for future reference and safe storage. It may even choose to send a notification back to the originator, letting that person know that the accounts payable process has been, been completed successfully. As part of any process driven content application, it is important that information is searchable, reportable and can be analysed. Knowledge Lake provides two very powerful search web parts that can be embedded anywhere within SharePoint. Here I can search for documents based upon related metadata. In this case I'm going to do a search for a PO number and it will retrieve all documents that relate to that particular PO. We can see in the search results that the document has been retrieved and we can view not only the metadata information but the actual document itself. From here we can do a number of actions. We can download a copy of the document, check it out if it needs changing and also drill directly back into the Knowledge Lake viewer to actually view the full scale scan of the document. Process driven content applications also benefit from the fact that structured standardized processes provide a rich insight into how your business is functioning both at an instance level as well as holistically across all of your business processes. We've seen previously how reports can provide a quick insight into how a business is functioning through one certain process. Here we're seeing average duration and the number of instances for certain activities across our accounts payable process. For things such as audit trail and performance information, we can use the K2 process portal and K2's out of the box reporting across all of its processes. We can select an individual process and see its complete audit trail including all of the activities and events that were performed during the process's execution. We can even drill down to understand who performed what action when. In this example, we can drill into our PO owner approval stage and see that Bob was assigned this task, completed it, and it took him 30 minutes and 18 seconds to complete the task. K2 provides an open platform enabling customers and partners to gain access to all of the process information generated through the execution of any K2 process. This information may include audit trail information, performance information, and as we saw earlier, who made what decision when. This information can then be used in a variety of reporting tools, such as SQL reporting services, Visio services, Power for Pivot for Excel, Power Pivot for SharePoint. In this example, we can see a custom report created using SQL reporting services presented as a dashboard within SharePoint. Alternatively, we can use Power Pivot for Excel and draw in real-time process information 
enabling users to create powerful power pivot charts directly within Excel, a tool that most business users are familiar with and therefore enabling them to access and analyze the information generated by standardized structured reports driven by K2. Thank you for your time today. If you'd like any more information, you can send me an email at jonathan.king at k2.com. Alternatively, you can visit our website at k2.com or Knowledge Lake's website at knowledgelake.com. Thank you.